Thank you very, very much, Gabriel. Um, I'm really happy to be here uh, and, and, um, and present today on the research that we did at Forrester Research on e-commerce in Latin America. Just a question, how many in the room know Forrester Research? Wow, a good, a good okay. A, I would say about 60, 70% raised their hands. That's really good. Um, you may know then that this is our mission. So we're a market research firm. We're based in the United States, but we have a global footprint. And we work with business and technology leaders to develop customer-obsessed strategies that drive growth. The important piece of this is customer obsession. We focus all of our research on the business strategies and the technologies that you need in your role as an e-business professional or a marketer or an IT professional in order to develop your business around that customer. Okay? Part of that, um, obviously, I'm a little biased, but I work on the team that writes research for the e-business professional, the e-commerce professional. Um, e-commerce is an, a critical piece of customer obsession because the internet has absolutely transformed the way that we interact with businesses, the way we get our information um, forever. So, Today, I'm really excited to be talking about e-commerce in Latin America. Um, I will present a few general sort of overarching trends, then I'll go into the, a closer look at the three largest markets, right? Brazil, Argentina, and Mexico. And then I won't leave the stage without giving you a few key takeaways, um, what you can do when you get back to your desk uh, later this week. So first, an overview. E-commerce in Latin America is part of a larger global trend. In every market that Forrester forecasts, e-commerce is growing. You can see that e-commerce in Latin America is growing at an 8.3% compound annual growth rate between 2015 and 2020. Now that's, a, that's probably um, a little bit under what you've heard in the past few years. It's absolutely um, a deceleration of growth than what we've seen. And it's because Brazil is a massive market in the region. It is critically important um, and makes up um, a large share of the overall revenues. And the economic situation um, has, in, in Brazil has absolute, absolutely impacted the region's growth as a whole. We'll get into that in more detail. But there are promising uh, characteristics about the markets in Latin America and things that are, that are um, exciting to us about the prospect of e-commerce and the outlook for e-commerce in the next few years. What are some of those things? First of all, the population is relatively young in Latin America. So you can see um, that in Argentina and in Brazil, the average age of a, of a person in, in, these, in these countries is 31. Um, it goes, uh, you know, compare that to the US and to China where you're in the upper 30s, and then even into Japan and the UK where it's upwards of 40. The reason that this is important is because young, the younger population is generally more digital, right? So they lay the groundwork for the e-commerce uh, to flourish. But also when they enter the workforce, they spend their newfound wealth online, typically. So we're really excited about the populations, the young populations in Latin America and then what it means for the future of e-commerce in these markets. Another very interesting and important fact about uh, Latin America as a region is that the middle class has grown significantly, specifically in the early 2000s. Most of, the, most of this um, growth has been in Brazil in particular. Um, and, and, but the rest of the region has, has also benefited, benefited from reduced poverty rates right, and increased middle class. The reason that this is important is because when, the middle class, when, when individuals lift out of poverty, when the population lifts out of poverty, um, consumer spending increases. That's online and offline. So that's really promising. And an interesting point too is that in Latin America, the GDP per capita uh, in most markets are actually much higher than what they are in large markets in Asia Pacific, for example. So you have the markets, um, you know, Brazil and Argentina 
in Mexico ranging in their GDP per capita from 15 to $25,000. Um, in China, it's 14. In India, it's $6,000 per capita. So you can see that there is um, uh, uh, how this plays into the, the economic health and the and the um, the uh, as a signal for the positive uh, opportunity for e-commerce in the market.